Good evening, family. It's hump day. Yeah, I know it's not evening, but um, it feels like it because I got started so late. Um, I did wake up early this morning. I got up about 5.30. My sister Allison sent me a text. I did a little, I like it, thank you, and um, started reading my daily devotionals. And then um, the next time I woke up, it was 8.45. So um, I apologize. I guess I just uh, overslept. So you love me. I love you. So forgive me. I will try to do better. I will do better. I will do better. I will do better and get up and be professional and be excellent about what I'm doing because I think this is important. Okay. Um, This morning, I'm going to talk about putting your clothes on. Okay. And so um, I'm going to read from Colossians chapter three. I was going to start with um, verse 12. But I'm actually going to start with verse 1, a la Gary Pinion. A lot of y'all know Gary Pinion, and this is uh, what we do when we start studying the Bible with Gary. We look and we go, oh, that's good. I might as well include that too. Okay, so we're going to start with verse 1. Since then, you have been raised with Christ. Set your hearts on things above where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Uh, Just a quick note, um, the the start of this verse says, since then... Uh, which is the same as therefore. And so Pastor Larry Stockstill used to always say, when you see a therefore in the Bible, you need to find out what it's there for. Um, So if you go back to Colossians chapter 2, there's an explanation of us being raised with Christ. All right, so verse 2. Set your minds on things above, not on earthly things. For you died, and your life is now hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. Now, you put to death, therefore, whatever belongs to your earthly nature, sexual immorality, impurity, lust, evil desires, and greed, which is idolatry. Because of these, the wrath of God is coming. You used to walk in these ways in the life you once lived, but now you must also rid yourself of all such things as these. So take these clothes off. You got on some dirty clothes, right? You got some dirty clothes on from your old previous before you were born again life. Take these clothes off. What clothes? Anger, rage, malice, slander, filthy language from your lips. Do not lie to each other. Since you have taken off your old self, you took off those old clothes, don't lie to each other, with its practices and have put on the new self, which is being renewed in knowledge in the image of its creator. Okay, so you're getting ready to put on some new clothes. You took off the old clothes, you took off the dirty clothes, now you're getting ready to put on some new clothes. Uh, But he wants to make sure you understand. Here there is no Jew or Gentile, circumcised or uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, slave or free, but Christ is all and is in all. So this applies to everybody that's in Christ. Get your old clothes off, put on some new ones. Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly beloved, Clothe yourselves, now these are the new clothes you're getting ready to put on. Clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Bear with each other and forgive one another. If any of you has a grievance against someone, forgive as the Lord forgave you. God's already forgiven us. So you now turn around and you forgive others, right? Because you got these new clothes on. These new clothes allow you to forgive others. <clears throat> and over all these virtues, so you got your clothes on, so now you're about to put on the coat, and this coat is a protective coat. Over all these virtues, put on love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. And I'm going to keep going here just because this is so good. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body, you were called to peace. And be thankful, and be thankful. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wrap it up here. Let the message of Christ... Dwell among you richly as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom through psalms, hymns, and songs, singing to God with gratitude in your hearts. And whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. All right. That's a lot. That's a lot, but it's so good, right? So you're taking off the old clothes, bitterness, wrath, anger, jealousy, Um, All of that junk, sexual immorality, lust, uh, drinking, partying, um, greed, 
you you took off all of those clothes, you threw them on the floor, get rid of them, go burn them if you if you really got got time. Go burn all that crap and then put on the new clothes. Okay? Put on some new clothes. Put on love and compassion. Put on um patience and kindness and forgiveness. Put that on. Okay? And that's how you go through this life and you succeed. All right, I love y'all. Have a great Wednesday.